add a little yeast. I have a tablespoon of yeast rising here. Okay, and that was made with what? Just water and sugar, like you make, like, like you make yeast. Use uh, you use flour as much as you think. How many people you're serving? I've got two, three. So one one large spoonful for each person. Each person. Teaspoon yes. of sugar. Teaspoon of salt. I'll put an egg in warm water. You can use milk if you want. But warm it up. Add about a tablespoon or two of oil. Mix it so nice and soft. Oh, I forgot to ask. How much yeast was in that? Is in this uh, plate? About a tablespoon. A tablespoon of yeast, yes. warm water, sugar. Yeah. And just the one egg, that's all you need. Well, you can put more in, but I, for this little bit, one is enough. And the yeast is ready to go. Did you let the yeast sit for very long? Ten minutes. That's good. Like it says on the pack. Don't be afraid to use your hands. And so that was because you had too much water in it? You're adding more no. flour? Now you make the dough so it fits you. Make a nice, soft, workable dough. So it's not hard like No, the... not knepfle. You're not making knepfle and making strudel. As you can see, Mom's done this a lot. She's got the arms of a locker. We were hungry kids. We made lots of this. <laughs> we were told not to eat any raw dough because it was plank would plug us up. As if the cooked stuff would be any different. <laughs> okay, that looks more like the pizza dough I used to make. Well, it's an, this dough is really nice and workable here. Just give it a good workout. Looks like you've done this before. Oh, yeah. How old were you when you learned how to do this? About 10, 12. I had to help mother with cooking. Were you in Germany by then, or what time did you leave Bessarabia? I was two when we left Bessarabia. And so this would have been after the war? That was already. after the war in West Germany. Okay, take the bowl. Add a little oil on the bottom. Put the dough in and cover it with a little oil. And what is it for? Now you let it rest for about 15-20 minutes. And uh, the dough's been covered for 20 minutes and so now it's the big revelation. Take a look at it, well it's pretty much the same. It has risen. But it has risen. Anyway, now I'm not going to attack it. Oh yeah, it's uh, much bigger. I put the yeast in so I don't have to roll it and stretch it out too thin. Oh, this is nice. Counter. What, the counter is too small? Yeah. Okay, so you're going to chop it in thirds. So essentially it's a little more than uh, one tablespoon of flour per lunch here, right? Well, it's about, uh, I, the small tablespoons is about ten tablespoons. Okay. I figure two to three tablespoons per person. I'm reworking it, doesn't compress it or take the uh, gas out of the... No, just want to roll it up. All right. Oh, here's my little pin. 
Okay, you rolled it out, and then... Uh, I put it on a different counter. So it's just a repeat of the process here. Yeah. Okay, this is rolled, this is rolled out now, and... Uh, you add some oil on top to keep it from drying out till the other one is rolled out. And use oil or lard, melted lard or butter, Crisco, bacon fat, whatever you have. Okay, so here this is the counter has been covered in flour. And there it says, okay. here's the three pieces of dough. And now we're going back to the first one. As you can see, it's risen a bit. Okay, now we start stretching it. So we don't roll it anymore? Or we will roll it? No, you don't have to roll it anymore. It's, it's actually supposed to do it like that and try not to get a hole in it. If you're a good pizza dough maker, you don't have no problems. So you just throw it around like an old bed sheet or a towel. Pizza dough! Or a pizza dough. And well, pull. Pizza dough is not this... <laughs> not this soft. It does, does pull. This is really time consuming. I can see why they don't uh, sell this much in restaurants. If you want to, uh, you can, uh, when you roll out the dough, you can roll it out so that it's just about, uh, just uh, thin enough to, then you don't have to stretch that much. Okay, is there any guide to how long you stretch it or how far you stretch it? Well, to? it's supposed to be thin. You stretch on the edges and pull. Pull so, on the edges. So you can almost see through this then, yeah. right? Oh, you got a hole in it. Yep. You're gonna fix it? No. You're not gonna glue it together with something? No. Oh, you got another one. Okay, and now we do this. I need a little bit more oil. And that's what, about three inches wide? Yeah. Then you fold okay. it over. Okay, you just fold it over in half. Yeah. Or you can take the, the dough and just flip it over and then uh, cut it. So where is this recipe from? Is there any history to this that you know? Uh, no, I don't. But I think it comes from the... Uh, like the Schwäbisch, you can put a little sugar in here and uh, make uh, apple strudel or moon or poppy seed strudel. And just put, uh, make it a little bit more sweet. Well, I noticed that the name is strudel and you can buy strudel all over the place. But yes. uh, I've never seen anybody selling apple strudel that made it like this. Well, and the... Uh, Olden times, they didn't have, especially the farmers' wives, they didn't have time to be fancy. So if they baked bread, they used the same dough for kuchen, and they used the strudel dough to make whatever. So I noticed yeah. you actually pulled that out even longer. Yeah. When you fold yeah, it. It gets longer because there's yeast in it. So this is number two, and it's had oil put on it, so now we're folding it in half. And... Uh, so you just kind of cut it that way. Geez, it looks just like a piece of old cloth coming out of the washer. <laughs> and so now you're cutting them same thickness. Okay, now uh, we've got this all cut, and what are we doing now? Now we're going to go up, go and peel potatoes, and make stewed sort of stewed potatoes with uh, carrots and onions, and celery in it, and then put the when the potatoes start 
boiling, we'll put the strudel on top. Okay, and the strudel that are cut and folded are sitting here, and you're just going to leave them the way they are? No, when, when we're ready to put them on, I'll cut them smaller. 